Welcome to the month of March. Turn to your neighbor, tell them, welcome to the month of March. It is settled in this month. Victory is your portion this month. In the name of Jesus. Makatoza. Quickly, you may be seated for a few minutes so that I can introduce the word of the month. Thank you so much, praise and worship team. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. This is a victorious month. And uh, greetings from the angel of the house, Apostle Paul. He said to pass his regards to all of you. Have you received them? He is on the mission field together with Apostle Isaac. They are ministering in Loitoktok. They are holding crusades and night revivals. So wherever he is, he's also serving the Lord. Hallelujah. So he's passed his regards to you. And he instructed me on what the month of March should be according to what the Lord has put in his heart. Praise the Lord. So very quickly, I'm going to introduce us to the word of the month. And March is our month of being like a well-watered garden. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to be like a well-watered garden. Praise the Lord. Let us look at the book of Isaiah 58 verse 11. This is what the Bible says. The Lord will guide you continually. The Lord will guide you continually. And satisfy your soul in drought. And strengthen your bones. You shall be like a well-watered garden. And like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. This is going to be our guiding scripture for the month that you shall be a well-watered garden because the Lord will guide you. He will satisfy your soul in drought. He will strengthen your bones. In other words, it means where you feel like you have been lost, where you think you are going to miss a step, this month, the Lord will guide you. Not once, not twice, but he will guide you continually. That means when you wake up, he's guiding you. When you walk out of your house, he is guiding you. When you open that business, he is guiding you. When you're going to bed, he's also guiding you. Praise the Lord. And he will satisfy your soul in drought. That means it does not matter the economy of our nation. The Lord will satisfy you. The Lord will satisfy you. It was the king of kings, the Lord we are serving today, that was able to bless Isaac. In drought, Isaac was able to reap a hundredfold. So we are not affected by the economy of our nation. Our economy is kingdom guided. Hallelujah. Our economy is kingdom guided because God is going to satisfy you in drought. Hallelujah. And he continues to say that he will strengthen your bones. Let the weak say, my bones are strengthened. Hallelujah. He will strengthen your bones. You shall no longer be weak. Your business shall not be weak. Your children shall not be weak. Because the Lord is going to strengthen your bones this month. And you shall be like a well-watered garden. Praise the Lord. What does it mean to be a well-watered garden? Any garden that has enough water, the first sign is fruitfulness. Hallelujah. The first sign of a well-watered garden is fruitfulness. What makes us realize that this is not well-watered, but this is well-watered, is the fact that this garden has fruits. So in other words, much is our fruit-bearing era. Hallelujah. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, I'm in my fruit-bearing era. So everywhere that you are barren, 
you're, begin, you're beginning to be fruitful. The business that was barren is beginning to be fruitful. Hallelujah. Even your offerings are beginning to be fruitful. Because the Bible says, he who waters shall be watered also. So as you're giving your offerings, they shall water you as well. Because they are going to multiply. They are going to give you fruits in this month in the mighty name of Jesus. When you look at the book of Psalm chapter 1 verse 3. Psalm chapter 1 verse 3. The Bible says, He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That brings forth its fruit in its season whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Hallelujah. So in this month of being like a well-watered garden, it means you, yourself, your business, your children, your family, whatever you put your hands to, they are going to bear its fruit in its season. So no more barrenness over you. No more miscarriage. Hallelujah. The Bible says that even the leaves shall not wither. So withering is not your portion. This month of being like a well-watered garden, withering is not your portion. It means you shall not give up. You shall not be carried away by the economy. You shall not faint because you are like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. So you are well-watered. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So when, wherever there is watering, there is increase. Did somebody catch that? Wherever there is watering, there is increase. Wherever there is enough water, God comes and gives an increase. And that shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. So in this month of being like a well-watered garden, remember you are in your fruit-bearing era. Somebody can tweet that or, or write that on Facebook. I'm in my fruit-bearing era. Hallelujah. What does it mean to be a well-watered garden? Number two, it means... You are well seasoned with the word of God. You are well seasoned with the word of God. The Bible says that by the washing of the water of the word, meaning the word of God is water. So to be well watered, it means you are well seasoned by the, with the word of God. And how do you know that you're well seasoned with the word of God? It means when you find yourself any, in any situation, you, you have the right scripture in your heart to face that situation with. That means when you meet Goliath, you're going to remember the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 45 where David looked at, at Goliath and he said, you're coming to me with a sword, you're coming to me with a spear, you're coming to me with a shield. But I'm coming to you in the name of the Lord. So you meet a hard situation this month. You are going to say, I'm coming to you in the name of the Lord. You come across a hardship. You remember, I'm coming against you in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When you have the right word in you, you, come, you sense weapons in your life. You're going to remember Isaiah 54 verse 17. And you are going to declare, no weapon that is fashioned against me shall prosper. When you sense resistance, you're going to remember Psalm 24 verse 7. Oh my God, is this word exciting somebody? Is this word exciting somebody? Let's read Psalm 24 verse 7. When you, you face resistance, this is the word that's going to come to you. Oh my God. You're going to say, this is what you're going to say when you meet resistance. You're going to say, lift up your heads. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. And be lifted up, you everlasting doors. You know, wherever there is doors, there is resistance. Unless the door is open, you cannot enter. 
So you come across a closed door. This is the word that comes to you and you tell the everlasting doors, be lifted. You tell the gate, be lifted. This man in the name of Jesus, be well seasoned with the word of God. Be well seasoned with the word of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, if you're going to be well seasoned with the word of God, it means you're not only going to read your Bible when we come to church on Sunday. It means you're not going to open your Bible only when you go for the home cell. It means in your private time, you're going to search the word of the Lord. It means in your own time, you're going to read the Bible and with the understanding of the Holy Spirit, you're going to be well seasoned with the word of God. So do not expect that out of nowhere, you will be watered without the word of God. Remember the word of the year this year is springing forth. And our guiding scripture was Job. And it, it says that by the scent of the water. And our apostle says that, the scent of the water means the word of God. So even this month, you're going to need the word of God. Hallelujah. So prepare yourself to be well seasoned with the word of God so that in whatever situation, you are going to know the right scripture. This is exactly what happened to Jesus when he was being tempted. Uh, the devil told Jesus, bow down to me. And immediately Jesus knew the right word to say. And Jesus responded and said, that it is written that we shall worship no other God. Hallelujah. And then the devil also tried to tell Jesus, turn these stones into bread. And Jesus said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. So this month, in whatever situation you come across, I need you to say, it is written. It is written. Hallelujah. What does it mean to be a well-watered garden? It means that you are revived. It means that you will get revived. And this revival is not going to be for a moment. It's not going to be only for the month of March. It's going to be a permanent revival. So you, as your business is being well watered, it is being revived for life. As your children are being well watered, they are being revived for life. As your husband or wife is being watered, they are revived for life. As Standing Point Church is being watered, we are revived for life. We don't need to wait for revivals for us to be revived. Because we shall be well watered, we are revived for life. Hallelujah. When you read the book of Job, Job 14, verse 7. This is the, the scripture of the year. Job 14. The Bible says, for there is hope for a tree if it is cut down. That means if your business was cut down, if your business was withering, if your finances were withering, the Bible says there is hope that it will sprout again. Why? Let's go to verse 8. Though its root may grow old in the earth, and its stump may die in the ground, verse 9, yet at the scent of water it will bud and bring forth branches like a plant. Yet at the scent of water it will bud and bring forth branches like a plant. Hallelujah. That means it was cut down, but that is not the end. At the scent of water, it shall revive. In this month of being well watered, you're reviving in the name of Jesus. Your family is reviving in the name of Jesus. By the scent of waters, we are springing forth. By the scent of waters, we are reviving again. And this time, we shall not wither. This time, we shall not give up. This time, we shall not turn back. Because we shall sprout forth and we shall be revived permanently. Hallelujah. Lastly, what does it mean to be a well-watered garden? It means you become a source. Hallelujah. Is anybody ready to be a source? It means when people are looking for solutions, they remember your name. Hallelujah. 
It means when people want to borrow, they come to you. Because for you, you shall not beg, you shall not borrow, you shall lend. Because you are a source. Hallelujah. When you read the book, uh, the Bible in John chapter 7, verse 38. John 7, 38, the Bible says, He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Now this is Jesus speaking and saying, He who believes, and we all know that Jesus is the fountain of life hallelujah so he who believes on the fountain of life out of him shall flow rivers of living water that means you also become a source you are receiving from jesus and then out of you it's flowing rivers of living water hallelujah is somebody ready to be a source this month is somebody ready to be well watered this month just stand up on your feet and ask the lord to water your life to water your family to water your business to water all that concerns you that you can be fruitful in the name of jesus that you can be well seasoned with the word of god that you may be revived in the name of jesus that you may be become a source in the mighty name of jesus make that your prayer as we are getting into the third month in the name of Jesus, Lord, we are asking you, water us, O oh God, water us, O oh Jehovah, in this month of being well watered, water us in the name of Jesus, water us in the name of Jesus, that we may no longer be dry wells, that we may no longer be empty wells, that we may no longer be withering gardens, water us, Jehovah, make us to be like well watered gardens in the mighty name of Jesus I decree this month oh God in the name of Jesus that I shall bear fruit I shall bear fruit I shall bear fruit whatever I put my hands to shall bear fruit in the mighty name of Jesus I decree barrenness is not my portion miscarriage shall not come near me in the mighty name of Jesus as I'm getting well watered I decree I shall bear fruit in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus this commission is bearing fruit this commission is bearing fruit in the mighty name of Jesus I decree oh God that I shall be well seasoned with your word that I shall be well seasoned with your word and that your spirit shall give me understanding of your word and that your spirit will open my eyes of understanding and I shall behold wondrous things in your word in the mighty name of Jesus I decree this month revival is my portion I decree revival over my spirit I decree revival in my heart. I decree revival over my finances. I decree revival over my ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, this commission is revived. This commission is revived. In the mighty name of Jesus, revival is our portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, this month of being well watered, I declare we are a source in the name of Jesus. We shall not beg, we shall not borrow, but we shall lend. We shall be a source, and out of our bellies shall flow rivers of living waters. Out of our bellies shall flow rivers of living water. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree over everybody that is under the sound of my voice. Let them be revived in the name of Jesus. Their businesses are revived in the name of Jesus. I decree their families are becoming a source in the name of Jesus. I decree they have been well seasoned with the word of God. I declare in the name of Jesus, they shall bear fruit in due season. They shall bear fruit in due season. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I bless your name. Thank you because of the month of March. Thank you because you are guiding us continually. Thank you because, Lord, you are satisfying our soul in drought. Thank you, Lord, because you are strengthening our bones. Thank you, Lord, because we, you are making us a well-watered garden. We thank you, Lord. We thank you in advance for every fruit we shall bear. We thank you, Lord, in advance for every testimony we shall get. In the mighty name of Jesus, be glorified, O oh God. 
be magnified, O oh God. I pray, Father, that you will follow your word to fulfill it in the name of Jesus. And everything we have declared today, everything we have decreed today, oh God, let nobody revoke it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have commanded the man. In Jesus' mighty name, we have commanded the month of March. Hallelujah. Oh, what a wonderful way to begin the month. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate our sister Rose, our sister Paul, for that powerful service. Amen. Natumaya kwamba mungu wazi amenina na wewe, amekubariki zaidi. Sine wakati samba watu tingependa tu tu tuwe matuleo yetu. Tafadhali. Kuna namba ya baba yetu, Apostle Paul. Pia kama utaji baasha pia utapenda dikon. Kenya. 